It looks like that snow has gone as quick as it arrived, thankfully. So we're back to drizzly, rainy days. But don't get caught out, they have forecast minus two early hours of tomorrow morning in certain areas. But I'm not looking at snow today, I'm looking at Christmas carrots. We've had this container next to me for quite a while now and we have took a few harvests out of it already. But since we've had those minus five temperatures, it does seem now that it's took a turn for the worst. It is starting to droop over quite a bit and you know it was already drooping before that. So I think today I'm finally going to give in to temptation and we're going to take all the carrots out of this container and see what we've got. And I know that there's one or two of you that's been waiting for that. So let's do that right now. So we'll just work its way down this container, taking them out as we go and hopefully we'll get something decent. So I'm just going to pull out clumps at a time. And that's his first one right there. That's not a bad start at all. I'll just pop them to one side and we'll rinse them a bit later. And I'm trying to shake this compost back into this container so we can use it again. Not really anything that little clump, just tiny little things. It's like we've got a couple of decent ones here though. Some nice sized carrots there. And they're all straight as well, which is brilliant. Let's just keep going. We have had such a variety of size in these carrots. Tiny ones, little stubby ones, and some really long ones and that's another mixture these baby carrots are perfectly fine though for his stews and we had his first stew of the day and i'm pretty sure there's going to be a few more to come with this weather and that's better still three really nice size ones We've already took about three harvests from this container already, so it's done really well. But this will be the final harvest at year for carrots. Let's take a nice big clump out. Again, a really nice bunch. But we've still got a few more to do yet. They're a perfect size to cook whole. But it looks like they're all pretty much that size which is perfect for me from a little container like this. I've got a forked one there, but it's still a good size, so that's no problem at all. But there is a couple of decent sized ones next to it, brilliant. It's surprising what you can get with such a small amount of compost in a very small container. I'm basically not really paying them any mind, just put them in and leave them to grow.
But this container is certainly not letting me down. We're getting good results every handful. Just pulled that out as one big clump, and that'll be the last clump out of here for 2023. A couple of small ones, but also some really nice sized ones. That being a really good one. So I'm definitely pleased with results from this container. I think I've just broke one, but I don't think that's going to make much difference to his harvest today that's the other half of it a couple of tiny ones which we're not going to bother with but for the most part really good sizes definitely worth weight well that's certainly a nice bunch of carrots from a little container I'm going to give them a quick rinse before we take them indoors and we'll be able to see them a lot better as well. And that's your result. Look at all those carrots. Absolutely amazing. And some really good ones in there too. It just goes to show that you don't need a massive garden to get some really good results when it comes to carrots. All you need to do is make sure that those soil conditions are right for them to start with, which is really nice and loose, and you'll grow you said, some amazing looking carrots. So that's our Christmas and New Year all sorted out for carrots. It's the last harvest at season as far as these go, but we have got a five foot container over there with some more on the way, ready for early spring. And judging by that, I think we're going to be in for another treat. If you're interested in seeing what else we do over the next couple of weeks, please hit that subscribe button, press that notification bell, and I'll see you then. Take care.